All right, we're back now at the uh, Boys and Girls Club at uh, King Kennedy Boys and Girls Club, where we just put our little free library up. We're joined now by two very special guests. Krishandra, I got it right, Matthews. Uh, she's the founder of Literacy in the Hood and Ward 5 Precinct Leader, and also Cassandra Gordon. That's your, your I, so I've got those backwards. Cassandra Gordon is the founder of Literacy in the Hood or no? Oh. Cassandra is the founder of BU Sisters Foundation and a precinct uh, leader of War 5. <laughs> thank you for clearing that up. So many details. I'm good with the saw. I'm not good with, with, with details. Um, I want to start with you, Chris. So when you, when you found out that this was coming, I know you've been a, been a huge uh, advocate of, of literacy. You've been on the Kelly Clarkson show twice. What does something like this mean to the community? Or three times, I think. Well, in this particular community, is really important. I don't know if you know, but the library down here has been closed for quite some time. I know. So what I'm working on is preventing something, what they call the summer slide. So these children right here, even though that won't open until the fall, they're going to have books to read all summer long. Yeah, which is great, which is also one of the reasons we decided to put it here. We knew that there was a need, and we wanted to fill that need. Cassandra, what are you planning to make sure that the neighborhood welcomes the little free library and to make sure that this thing stays stocked. Um, yes, as being a single uh, mother down here, the third generation growing up down in this community, we never had a free library. Um, our library been closed um, through the whole pandemic, and now they re they reopening it. So our kids have nowhere to go. The community have nowhere to go. They used to stand up there f just to use the Wi-Fi. So with that being closed, you know, and I also run a program, BU Sisters Foundation, a mentor program in War 5. Um, for 14 to 18, and that's some of our time that we spend inside of the library, you know, working with the youth, working with the kids that's younger. Um, and we have nowhere to go now, so it's like this is really well needed inside of our community because now we have a free library that's in placed inside of the Boys and Girls Club, but once they're closed and the library closed, us single parents, us residents, us stakeholders, we have nowhere for, you know, to go for our children to read. So it's definitely most important, and I really appreciate y'all coming to put this in our community. Oh, trust me, it's our pleasure, and it's been a group effort. I built it, but our producer, Jess, and, uh, of course, Margaret at the station were instrumental in finding a place to put this, right, well, which is... Call uh, me, Shine, Krishandra called me, and she said they're looking for a place to put the free library. So I said, well, I had a perfect place for y'all, so come on down, <laughs> bring the free library. Then she told me it was pink, so I said, that's my favorite color, so most definitely bring it down and we most definitely would like I said we appreciate it and it's well needed um, BU Sisters Foundation we would be the store over this library to make sure that it will still be standing even years from now and also making sure that the books are staying full and not all over the place right. it's, it's well needed in our community. Uh, Krishandra we have about 20 seconds what, what will this mean to the young folks in the area? Well, two out of three students that attend CMSD schools have no books at home. So now they can pull up right here at 59th Street, right behind the Boys and Girls Club, any time of day, any time of afternoon. Read some books, sit right here in the grass, bring a snack. But most of all, make sure to prevent the summer slide. Children are reading 20 minutes a day. Wow. Yeah. Very well said. Uh